So, now it's time for Bible. Bible. Okay, we're going to read Bible time. Let's pray. Kito. Kito. Thank you, God, for your word and your Bible and your truth and your Holy Spirit. Help us to follow you. We love you because you loved us first. Mwah! Amen. 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 I hope your God keeps you safe, said the king, all through the night. The king was deeply un... Oh, we read this last night. Okay, a whale of a tale. Jonah, chapter 1 through 4. Not all prophets were willing to say yes to God's yeah, call to the moon. After all, being a messenger for God could be very dangerous. One such prophet was Jonah. One day, God told Jonah that he had a message for him to give to the people of Assyria. Ah, Nineveh, the capital of Assyria. The Syrians were the enemies of God's people, and they were a cruel and wicked people. Tell the king and the people of Nineveh that the city will be destroyed in 40 days' time. So goodbye, God. Goodbye, goodbye. Tell goodbye, them, I know. God. You goodbye, car. But Jonah didn't want to go. I am going to look stupid, he thought. The Assyrians are cruel, but God is loving and forgiving. I know he will forgive them. He will not destroy Nineveh. So instead, Jonah went to Joppa. He sat, got on a boat that was going to Spain and settled down to sleep. God was angry that Jonah had disobeyed him, and as soon as the boat set sail, he sent a huge storm. The boat tossed about on the waves. The sailors were terrified. They felt sure that the boat would sink in such a storm. They cried out to their gods to save them, but Jonah continued to sleep, unaware of what was going on, until the captain woke him. Pray to your God to save us, he said, but Jonah wouldn't. The storm became worse, and as the boat pitched and tossed in the water, Jonah told the sailors that it was his fault they were caught in such a terrible storm. Throw me into the sea, he said, then the storm will all calm down. First, the captain refused, but the storm got even worse. Reluctantly, he threw Jonah overboard. As soon as Jonah touched the water, the sea calmed and the storm died down. As Jonah sank beneath the waves, he felt sure that he was going to drown. He called out for God to save him. God heard him and sent the big fish to swallow him up alive. Jonah stayed inside the fish for three whole days. He was very sorry for disobeying God and told him so in his prayers. God listened to Jonah's prayers. He knew that Jonah was sorry. And so he made the big fish throw him up onto a beach. Once again, Jonah, God told Jonah to take his message to Nineveh. This time, oh, Jonah. Bible. Bible. Bible, that's right. And he was told, did as he was told, he went straight to Nineveh. Bible. Told people that God would, what God would do if they didn't change their wicked ways. They listened to Jonah and immediately stopped their wickedness. When God saw how the people had changed, he did not destroy their city. Jonah felt angry. Why did he feel so angry? I knew he would do that. I wish I were dead. God made a big shady plant grow. The next day, God sent a little worm to nibble off the plant. I was glad for that plant. I'm sorry it has died. You're sorry that the plant has died, but you didn't grow or try to keep it alive. How do you think I feel about the people of Nineveh. Oh, I gave them all life. Now Jonah understood how much God loved and cared for the world. Obey, obey. Okay, let's put it away.